guys, I'm the Panda Man, and we are coming back with a new deck. This is a deck brought to me by one of my moderators, Capricious. This deck is a lot of fun. It is high tempo, which is what we need in the meta right now. So hang on, and at the end of this video, uh, there'll be a, a deck guide, and a, a deck summary, and a mulligan guide. Anyways, thanks. Okay, I don't want this. Don't brand. Okay. I mean, yeah, I could tempo this out. This is really good, actually. Next turn, coin this. I just don't even coin it. What am I thinking? Uh. Coin this, maybe? It's even better? I think it's even better, actually. Neptulon on five over. Wait, Neptulon. Oh, command of Neptulon. Oh. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I keep thinking of Neptalon, actual Neptalon. I'm like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Capricious use Mogan to crack again. Again. Like like it's like it's a common occurrence. I right, play this now. This is one of the situations where I, I do think this is a brilliant idea of adding the, the, the quest to deal with other warlocks. This actually may be my favorite deck right now. Though he did not play Prince. Recre yeah, Recreational Crack Smoker. That's Capricious. Capricious is 100% a Recreational Crack Smoker. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so I'm probably gonna unless I get something cheap, I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna hero power. I'm gonna play the the sleep breaker. I'm gonna wind chill my own my own minion. Yeah, when you when you can ignore them, you just ignore them. That's fine. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and push hero power. Play the sleep breaker, which buffs him. Freeze my own dude. It's not attacking anyone, so it's fine. Oh, I could have played this. Oops. Oops. I miscalculated my mana. My bad. I thought I had it lined up, the exact mana. That's okay. It's alright. He'll be surprised. Okay, well, that sucked. But I mean, yeah, I'm kind of now I'm glad I played. Yeah, I totally played around that. I was playing around as full blown evil. That's what I was doing, I was playing around it. Um, I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna hold this. I can play this into the, into the Alakir in its next turn. Okay.
Absolutely. Mind you, we've got we've got our both of our wind furies down. He's already dealt with them. So we're just literally looking at um Yeah. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, just tell Lewis playing around is full blown evil. That's what I was doing. Really? Okay. I still think this is the play right now. It slams six into face. Yeah, I think that's worth. Does he have a way to remove it? Because otherwise I've got eight on board, and then I've got the hammer in hand for four more. Okay. Twist? But you would have twisted, why would you have done that? Is he just done? Okay. Yeah, that's this game, right? I just win. I just win, right? Good game. Good game, sir. Is what I, I said. Good game. Alright, I can play air in two, turn two. It's not horrific. Okay. That's fine. What do I want to listen to? Observe, analyze, engage. Okay, I need to kill this, uh, but I can do that. Do 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 Okay. Hmm. Yes, I want you, baby, slow, slow hands. I back ripping down on dirty laundry. No, no chance. Yeah, I could play this on turn four, even. It's a lot to deal with. It's very hard to deal with that. Slow hands. But yeah, let's, I think let's coin out the, the command of the Neptalon. Dang nabbit woman. Okay, all right, so... Heat. 
Then I'm leaving here without you on me. I, I know. Uh, I just deny this because I don't want him to play his garbage. That's fine. I could have done two extra damage there. I could have traded with this, but honestly, one, the four health feels good to me too. Okay. All alone, take me home, take me home. How do I kill that? This, so I kill that. So tripping down on dirty laundry, no chance. And I'm leaving here without you on me. I, I know. I already know that there ain't no stopping. I sweat dripping down my dirty laundry. No, no chance that I'm leaving here without you on me. I, All right, uh, I got five mana next turn. Okay. Okay, let's get his, get it back, all right. Hmm. A 15 on board, let's go lethal, right? Or go for... I ignore, just go. Yeah, go for it. Spin it too, let's see what he does with it. He doesn't play a taunt. I had Rockbiter, like, already. Laying low, how's it going? By the way, I love that name. Laying low. I love it. I love it. How are you today? Welcome to Panadin. The victory. Yep, that is game, guy. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed those games. Uh, this deck's a lot of fun. It's very high tempo. Now... Uh, I will be honest, there are, you're going to run into, into decks that are just going to steamroll you. Like you, you, you the, the decks that right now, you either play a lot of health or you play super high tempo. And this deck does really well against the high health decks. It really does. But like, uh, Murloc Shaman just can steamroll you if, if you get run into it. So just be aware of this. Now, it, the mulligans are very simple for this deck. It really is. You want to basically get cheap stuff. Ideally, Wailing Vapor, Kindling Elemental. These are the two biggest ones you want to get in your opening draw. Amalgam of the Deep is fantastic as well, as long as you have one of these other two dudes to, to basically piggyback off of. Outside of that, there are some instances when you, you can actually play keep Bolner and play Bolner early on, but you actually do want to make sure that you have a battle cry to line up with it. So something like again the Amalgam of the Deep. If you've got if you can get play Bolner on two and you play Amalgam of the Deep on three, that's a double double discover. And it's not necessarily gonna be keep in mind that it, it it'll uh you need another minion too. To keep that in mind. When I say amalgam, you need a whaling vapor or something down as well. So you play this on one, you play the Bolner, you play this on three. By the way, when it discovers, when Bolner discovers, it won't necessarily discover off of whatever you discover. So if you have a Wailing Vapor down and you play the Bolner Hammerbeak and then you play Amalgam of the Deep on the the shot on the Elemental, the first spell, you, the first creature you get will be an Elemental. The one that Bolner goes for doesn't necessarily have to be Elemental. You will get a creature though. Something to keep in mind is uh, outside of that you're gonna look at you want Sleep Breakers are also really cheap. You want those because you can basically always play a Sleep Breaker. And then on turn three, if you don't have a minion of theirs so to freeze, you can always hit hero power. You can freeze it. That way you need to draw a card. Uh, on the on the totem, make sure you freeze the totem, not the sleep breaker. Uh, Arid Stormer is also fantastic, especially if you in, in line with you do get a Kindling Elemental at turn one. If you get an Arid Stormer, your opening draw, that's also fantastic. Because you can play this on turn two. Having a, a 2-5 Rush uh, Wind Fury minion is really disgusting to pop out on turn two. Outside of that, you're also remembering that Granite Forgeborn is basically going to discount everything in your deck. Uh, I have, this is actually a lot of fun if you get to play Boulder Shaman and you play, or you play sorry, Boulder Shaman, you play Boulder Hammerbeak, and then you play the Granite Forgeborn, and basically you get to discount your, your deck by, well, two, and that's fantastic. It's a lot of fun. It feels very, very good. 
you got the brands. Uh, you definitely have the brand combo where you're basically playing the brand and you do this with anything. It's always told battle cries in this deck. Again, you don't want to use out the air stormer, of course. But like with a sleep breaker, or you could do it again with the, like the Kenley elemental is pretty good. Uh, obviously, school teacher is very fantastic. Again, granite forge morning because it doubles it down. All these things are very, very, very nice. Now remember, if you if you do use the lily pad lurker for its ability, if you play it with brand, it will target the same minion twice. Now if you play Bolner and then play the lily pad lurker, the Bolner will not necessarily target the same minion. So you can could potentially land on another enemy minion. It is enemy minion, so it's not gonna like you're not gonna ultimately wind up landing on your own lily pad lurker on, on your Bolner, but it will. It has a chance of hitting another creature of theirs. Outside of that, you're really looking for finishing them off with using playing Doomhammer and playing uh, on top of that. You want to play bup, 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 where is it? Rockbiter weapon. So basically, it's, you can slam for ten damage face in one turn. It's very hard to deal with that. It, it hurts them. It hurts their soul. Now, something that I, I had been, had to be reminded by Capricious, and this is something that you can consider if you if you have your Doomhammer in hand and you have a command of the Neptalon, a command of Neptalon in your hand on turn five, the correct order is to play the command of Neptalon. Because essentially, you're hoping that by the time you get to turn seven, when your your over overload is, is done, you play the Doom Hammer again with a Rockbiter. So there's not a real uh, over, like a problem with with fitting that in there. So yeah, this deck's a lot of fun. If you guys like it, the deck code is going to be below. While you're there, hit us with subscribe. It's absolutely free for you, and it helps us out a ton. Also, if you like the video content, please hit us with a like. It 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 really makes us feel good. Also, if there's any comments you want to leave there. Anything like uh, this is another deck I'd like you to see me, me see you guys would like to see me do. This is a, a streamer you'd like to see me cover on Panda Pals, or if you think I should move my camera somewhere on the screen, leave those comments below. I promise you, we do read them. We absolutely appreciate them. So, guys, I want to remind you: the most important thing in all gaming, all life. Period. Stay positive.